بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is Dr. Eskam Hope that you are doing well So today we continue with the, the second part of gametogenesis concerning the oogenesis and as we have done in uh, spermatogenesis we'll take as example the oogenesis in women <coughs> So we will try to talk about its definition its period, its location and finally, we will talk about its stages. Okay, so let's start directly by the first point concerning its definition. So what is oogenesis? The oogenesis is the process of uh, formation of diploid female gametes, which are oocytes from diploid germ cells called uh, oogonia. <coughs> so in oogenesis, we start by oogonia, and in uh, spermatogenesis, we start with spermatogonia. Okay, <coughs> so this process takes place in uh, what we call female reproductive system. This picture shows you uh, the female reproductive system, and as you can see, it's composed from several uh, structures. Okay, uh, but we are interested by this uh, one uh, called ovary because it's the exact location of the oogenesis. Okay, so the oogenesis takes place in uh, female gonads called ovaries. We say one ovary and uh, many ovaries, and uh, each uh, woman has two ovaries, one on the left and one on the right. Okay, so when we observe the anatomy of the ovary, uh, we, um, uh, we discover that uh, this structure is composed for, uh, from uh, several things. Okay, but uh, you have to wait until uh, uh, talking about uh, its stages to explain this picture. Okay, so I will certainly return to this picture to, uh, to explain to you all these structures. <coughs> Okay, so now that we know what is oogenesis, where it takes place, let's talk by the third point of our presentation concerning the period of oogenesis. Okay, so uh, the oogenesis is completely different uh, uh, from uh, spermatogenesis. Okay, uh, there are many uh, differences between the oogenesis and uh, spermatogenesis. <coughs> so, we have two important informations to keep in mind. The first information is that uh, oogenesis begins very early in, uh, in a woman's life. Okay, so it's, uh, it begins in a special period called Women's fitter life. Uh, fitter life, it means the life of the fetus. So, um, we are talking about uh, embryo and about female embryo uh, that is uh, still in the uterus of her mother. Okay, so at this stage, when uh, we observe uh, uh, the ovary of this uh, female embryo, we discover that uh, oogenesis has already begun. Okay, so uh, that's why we, st we say that uh, it starts very early in life. Okay, so this is the first information. Furthermore, we have to know that uh, oogenesis is limited phenomena. <coughs> Uh, which means that uh, it uh, starts at a specific time, which is uh, the, the woman's fetal life, and ends at a specific uh, period called menopause. Okay, that's why we say that uh, oogenesis is limited phenomena, contrary to spermatogenesis, which is a continuous phenomena. Okay? <coughs> Uh, okay, so uh, now that we uh, know uh, the period, let's talk by the fourth point of our presentation uh, concerning the stages of oogenesis. Uh, okay, so you have to know that uh, in several books you can find uh, several ways to uh, present the stages of oogenesis. Okay, but for my part, I have chosen uh, one of simple way uh, to present to you these stages 
and uh, this presentation is to make you understand uh, the oogenesis, okay, to simplify your comprehension. That's why I present uh, the stages of oogenesis in this way, okay? So, uh, according to the events that uh, happened in, uh, in the oogenesis, I divided the oogenesis in two periods. So, uh, these two periods are separated by uh, puberty, okay? Uh, the first uh, uh, the first period, I call it uh, phase one, and the second period, I call it fa phase two. So, in the phase one, I mean before puberty, there are some events, and after puberty, there are also some other events. That's why, to make you understand, I present to you the stages in this way. Okay, so uh, the first phase uh, <coughs> uh, lasts from the fetal life until the puberty. Okay, and then in the phase two, uh, which starts uh, at the puberty and ends in the menopause, there are some other events. Uh, so for today, for this course, we will uh, uh, talk about the phase one, and for the next course, uh, we will talk about phase two. <coughs> okay, so let's start by the phase one of all genesis, I mean before puberty. <coughs> so this phase uh, lasts from fetal life, uh, so it begins very early in the fetal life stage and uh, continue until the puberty. <coughs> and during this phase, I summarize three important events. Okay, so I summarize this, the, these events to make you understand. <coughs> Okay, so these events are, uh, the first uh, event is uh, concerning the Ogunia, which multiply and then degenerates. So, um, uh, we will uh, take uh, each event separately, uh, of course. The second one is concerning Ogunia also, but uh, the Ogunia will divide by muses. And finally, the third event it is the beginning of a special phase or special cycle uh, called follicular cycle. Okay, so let's start directly by the first event, which is multiplication uh, of uh, orgonia and degeneracy of uh, these cells. <coughs> So, uh, orgonia, which uh, are uh, the diploid germ cells, which are um, the, the first uh, cells which uh, uh, will be uh, transformed to sex cells, okay, uh, start uh, a strong multiplication. So, these cells uh, will multiply, but they will multiply strongly. Okay, so if I compare uh, their multiplication with the multiplication of spermatogonia, which are the germ cells in spermatogenesis, so uh, orgonia multiply strongly, but they multiply once. Okay, but the, the spermatogonia multiply continuously. Okay, so why the orgonia multiply strongly? They multiply in order to form an important stock of orgonia. So this stock is composed of about 7 million of cells. So it is very big uh, stock. Okay, uh, and uh, this event happened in the fetal life uh, from the third to the seventh month of fetal life. So my female embryo uh, has uh, uh, only three months and it continue until uh, she has uh, seven months of fetal life. Okay, and then what's happened? This uh, stock decrease uh, and uh, uh, become only one million of uh, of, organ, uh, of uh, organia, okay? So this decrease of the cells is due to the second uh, phenomena uh, called degeneracy. So degeneracy means cell death. 
so I will say our cells will dead so uh, we don't know why it's dead but it's happened it's uh, all that we know is that uh, it is under hormonal control so uh, what's happened the stock of seven, seven millions decreased to one million and this event happened uh, from the seventh month to uh, the birth i mean to the ninth month of fetal life so where we are we are in the ovary of female embryo okay uh, from the third to the seventh month we uh, form this uh, this big uh, uh, this huge uh, uh, stock and then this huge stock decrease uh, during two months and at the birth of my uh, uh, female baby uh, i uh, find that in uh, her ovary there is only one million of ogonia so this is the first important event of uh, oogenesis which happened very early in the life in the fetal life of the woman <coughs> okay so then what happened uh, <coughs> Uh, the second uh, the second event is concerning ogonia so the remaining ogonia all the remaining ogonia i mean about 1 million at the birth <coughs> uh, will uh, start the first phase of meiosis so let's remember that meiosis is the only way to re reduce the number of chromosomes okay so that's why each uh, cell to transform from diploid cell to haploid cell it must uh, divide by meiosis that's why ogonia will use meiosis will start uh, meiosis uh, especially the first uh, phase of meiosis which is uh, the reduction phase okay but here uh, an important event will happen <coughs> Uh, in fact, so all the oogonia will blocked at the first step of meiosis one. This step is called prophase prophase one. So all the oogonia start the first phase, but they block at uh, the first step of meiosis one. This step is called the uh, prophase and uh, the cells that we obtain obtain are called not ogonia but oocytes one. Okay, so they transform from ogonia to oocytes one and oocytes one uh, stay blocked in prophase one that's why when we say oocytes one we must add that they are blocked in prophase one which is the first step of meiosis one okay and uh, the oocytes are deployed cells uh, are transient deployed cells which stay blocked in prophase one uh, of meiosis one okay so uh, the, the all uh, the remaining ogonia transform to oocytes one <coughs> so this event uh, happened uh, from birth and during all the childhood during the childhood uh, the all, uh, all the remaining ogonia transform to oocytes one blocked in prophase one Okay, so after their transformations, the oocytes one uh, <coughs> uh, as will associate with another type of cells. These cells are called uh, follicular cells. These cells are different. They are not uh, sex cells. They are different. They are called uh, follicular cells and uh, they have an important role in uh, the cons conservation of our sex cells. Okay? So the oocytes will associate with these uh, cells in order to form an important structure called ovarian follicle. So ovarian follicle 
is uh, an, um, an association with horses which uh, are the sex cells and follicular cells okay so the first ovarian follicle uh, that uh, we form is called primordial follicle so this primordial follicle uh, formation marks the beginning of what we call follicular phase or uh, follicular cycle okay so this is the third event which is the formation of uh, follicle ovarian follicle which is primordial follicle and it's marked by the way the beginning of a cycle uh, which is follicular cycle or follicular phase okay so this is the third important uh, uh, event and its uh, primordial follicle is composed from one oocyte one blocked in profile one and it is a diploid uh, cell it's normal uh, surrounded by uh, one layer of flattened uh, follicular cells okay so this picture show you <coughs> Uh, microscopic observation of primordial phylocal and as you can see you can you can see uh, excuse me you can see in the red this is the ovocyte this is the oocyte one so each oocyte one is surrounded by one layer of flattened follicular cells and it composed uh, the primordial follicle okay so uh, in time we are in childhood i mean if uh, we uh, we uh, we uh, return to the ovary of um, uh, of uh, uh, female at this age uh, from uh, one year two year until uh, six year we find these formations which are follicular primordial follicle and um, each follicle each primordial follicle is composed from one ovocyte surrounded by one layer of flattened follicular cells okay so uh, here you can observe that oocytes are blocked in prophase one uh, their nucleus is not uh, dark uh, it is a very special nucleus why because they are um, blocked in uh, prophase one which is the first step of meiosis one okay so i hope that you understood uh, uh, this uh, part uh, and then what happens so we are in childhood we are not uh, yet in the puberty so from during all the childhood and uh, until puberty all uh, the events are blocked okay uh, i mean uh, uh, all the oocytes are blocked uh, in prophase one which is the first step of uh, meiosis and all the phylocles stayed blocked in the primordial step there is no uh, follicular follicular development and there is no uh, development concerning our sex cells okay and this blockage less enter puberty okay so this is the first phase of oogenesis and uh, all the events after childhood all the events uh, are blocked until puberty okay and if we, we if uh, you want to know what's happened uh, after you must wait for the second uh, uh, course concerning the second phase which is the phase two after puberty i will tell you what uh, happened uh, for our sex cells and for our primordial follicles okay so hope that you 
uh, understood me uh, don't uh, forget to contact me on telegram and on facebook and i'm waiting for your commentaries especially for the quality the sound quality of the video uh, and um, uh, i'm uh, uh, i answer all your commentaries so uh, uh, let me uh, know uh, what do you think about this third course and see you for the next one.